What's up YouTube? Welcome back to JDS Outdoors. Today, we're going to be working on this transom. Uh, we're going to work on taking out the old one here and putting in a brand new aluminum transom that will last forever. So, to start off, we're going to start off by removing this 35 horse Johnson. And uh, most of the time these smaller motors are just held on with the uh, clamps, the transom clamps on the back here. I'm not sure if that is a technical term, but that's the term I'm going to use. Um, but this one's not only held on with those, but it's also bolted on right here on, uh, on both sides. So we are going to unbolt those, pop the cover, and uh, use, use the trusty old uh, shop crane here to yank that off because I don't feel like lifting 130 some odd pounds or whatever that thing weighs. So I'm going to get to work on that, cut back in shortly. All right, so we got the motor off. That's pretty easy work with the old shop crane there. Come over and look at this transom. You notice it was definitely past its time to get replaced. <clears throat> you also go look in the middle here. It's got a nice crack in that top cap. And uh, he's a little beat up. But not to worry. We're going to make this a heck of a lot better. Got a few more odds and ends, screws, transducer wires and stuff to move. Yeah, it looks like an old fire extinguisher bracket. And we also got to take off these corner caps. Here <clears throat> looks like uh, this transom may have been replaced at one point. And the only reason I say that is because uh, there's still rivets here. But these are replaced with screws. So may have been done at, uh, at an earlier date also there's like some silicone crap sprayed on this it's just uh, yeah it's time definitely time look down here Get some rot but anyways I'm gonna keep picking away at this and uh, Cut back in here in a little bit, show you some progress. All right, so I made some progress here. I actually got a little carried away and uh, got a lot done. So, got the old board out. I uh, got all or most of the welding prep done. I cut off the excess in the, on these uh, transom brackets here, so that way the new transom, which is essentially going to be like this can slide in in place of where the old board was now this is going to go the full length I got the piece sitting right here to cut so the piece that's in here right now is not going to be the transom but just to give an idea so what's going to happen since that <coughs> that top cap was junk so we're gonna weld this new piece hard to do one-handed here flush with the top right so we're gonna pretend that that's flush then we're gonna run a bead of weld all the way along the top and join this transom to the new or the back back plate here on the transom to the new transom board and then this is all gonna get welded around here and it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty damn solid also one other thing that I do is since the motor clamps on right here right this aluminum is an eighth inch thick uh, box tubing here and over time the uh, the clamps on the motor may push in this aluminum so to counteract that, we can do a couple different things. We can cut the top of this off, 
weld in some supports, and then weld the top back on. Or we can drill uh, some holes in here and we can weld some tubing from the front to the back, which is what I'm going to do since this transom piece doesn't need to be cut on my old boat. The transom was not, was not flat. It dipped down, so I had to cut it anyways to make it fit the curvature of the boat. This one's straight across, so do not have to worry about that. Anyways, uh, so that's the progress. Here's the old board. We got uh, a lot of rot on that piece, so good thing it's getting done. Uh, I also noticed that uh, at some point somebody had something else mounted here. A um, lot of extra holes. Uh, all the old holes from where the bolts went through the transom. We're going to fill all that. Uh, make it all nice and pretty. So you'll never know that they were there. And um, these holes right over here had some JB Weld in them. Which is fantastic. I love it when people half-ass stuff and put JB Weld in, uh, in holes. Makes it fun for us to clean out and weld. So... I'm going to get uh, this new piece, trans piece cut, and I will uh, show you the supports that I weld into it, and then uh, get the thing welded in. So, see you in a bit. So, in case this is your first video that you're tuning in uh, to my channel here, and you're wondering how to cut the aluminum, or what I use to cut the aluminum, I use your normal skill saw. Uh, this one happens to be a DeWalt flex bolt, a 60 volt um, circular saw here, and it is it is awesome. Um, and for the blade, I use your everyday average normal wood blade. This is the stock blade that came with this saw, and it cuts through this aluminum like butter. It works freaking phenomenal. So that is what I use to cut all my aluminum. I've cut up to half inch thick aluminum with a circular saw. I probably wouldn't go any thicker than that, but there's not every day you're using half inch thick aluminum. So now we got this transom piece cut. Time to get it fitted in there and uh, get our supports in and I'll start welding. And I'll cut back in here in a little bit, show you some progress. All right, so I buzzed in a couple supports with the TIG real quick. It's been a while since I welded, so I um, figured this would be a good spot to practice or get refreshed. Anyways, so I welded some tubes in, and they go down to the other side, and that will allow some support so the tube itself or the transom cannot be crushed. I'm going to uh, grind that flush here in a second and throw this in the boat, but we'll come down to the end here so you can see what I'm talking about hopefully so you see those tubes how they go in if it'll focus I don't know I think you can see them yeah so that's that's crush support that's what that is but anyways I'm gonna buzz those uh, flush and throw it in the boat and start tacking that in so there we go ladies and gents the aluminum transom is in now it just needs to be welded in place just setting this transom board in here, this boat is solid as heck already, and it's not even welded. There is no flex in that transom at all. So, it is by far, in my opinion, the best, uh, the best replacement for wood, because this will never ever have to be done again, and it is solid even before welding. So, I will, uh, after I get this thing welded in, get the corner caps back on and uh, get this thing buttoned up, cut back in and show you that. But until then, I got a little bit of welding to do. So, that is, uh, in a nutshell, how you replace your wooden transom with an aluminum one. So I will see you guys when this thing is finished. Well, ladies and gents, that there is a finished 
minus installing the motor, aluminum transom. It's all welded in. I hammered down the tops right here and I filled that in with weld. That's why it looks kind of ugly, but it will hold and will keep debris and stuff from getting down in there. Corner caps are back on. All I gotta do is clean up my mess and throw the motor on her and she's done. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video on how to convert your wooden transom to an aluminum transom. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.